Okay, now we are going to talk about some antioxidant preservatives. And there's three really common antioxidant preservatives, and that would be ascorbic acid, BHA and BHT, and tocopherols in the form of vitamin E. Now, ascorbic acid is the synthetic form of vitamin C. That's the chemical name for vitamin C. And this is not naturally occurring, okay? This is a chemical that they created in a lab that tries to mimic a whole food form of vitamin C. Now, the dangerous effect of consuming ascorbic acid like that is that it doesn't come along with all of the other cofactors that are naturally found in a whole food form of vitamin C, such as an orange, okay? Not coming with the bioflavonoids. It's not coming with the root and, you know, and all the other nutrients surrounding it. And so there's no, synergis, there's no synergistic effect when you're consuming ascorbic acid. And in some cases, it can even lead to anemia. So bottom line is your body always functions best when it's getting your vitamin C from a whole food source. Um, but the main um, reason that they add ascorbic acid into food as a preservative is to prevent fruit juices from turning brown and also it <coughs> helps keep fatty foods from becoming rancid okay it also supposedly helps to improve the baking quality of wheat now you have BHA and BHT and BHA and BHT is found in a lot of fatty foods okay it's found in baked products cereals potato chips and fats and oils and the reason that they add BHA and BHT into the foods is again to prevent these foods from turning rancid and also you know to extend their shelf life so basically they're preventing the food from turning rancid when exposed to oxygen oxygen um, is hitting uh, a food to turn brown and rancid. So that's no good. And the reason you want to avoid BHA and BHT is because, all right, these chemicals have been linked to birth defects and liver and kidney damage. And they're extremely um, abundant in pet food. So check the back ingredients of your pet foods because your pets are probably getting a large dose of BHA and BHT which is definitely going to take a toll on your cat or dog or any other animal that you might have. So be careful of BHA and BHT. Um, and the last one is tocopherols, which is vitamin E. And this is usually found in oils and shortening. And again, what this does is it prevents rancidity and fats and other damage to food when it's exposed to oxygen. Now, a whole food form of vitamin E, okay, is great for you to take because it prevents oxidation to your cells. It also prevents a lot of the fats and oils that you eat from oxidation and rancidity because rancid oils and fats tend to generate large amounts of free radicals in your body which can increase the aging process. But, you know, you shouldn't have to put a, a vitamin E, a synthetic vitamin E, okay, into a food, but they do anyways because again they want to extend the shelf life because that's what generates more money. And again, you know, this tocopherol, vitamin E, synthetic form, it's not well tolerated by the body, and again, it could cause problems of long term exposure to ingesting this on a continual basis, which most people are. So again, you know, watch out for the tocopherols and vitamin E in a lot of your food products, especially the oils and shortenings. So bottom line is the three most common forms of antioxidant preservatives that are found in um, many foods are ascorbic acid or ascorbates, BHA and BHT, and tocopherols, which is vitamin E.